so you got in trouble for drinking in your dorm. You were stopped by a public safety officer for public intoxication. You were vandalized in the campus. Whatever the situation, it is important to understand that we are all personally influenced by the PAWS Community Standards System. So for your benefit, here's a quick review of the PAWS Community Standards process. First, you get sent an email asking you to come to the Student Affairs Office and pick up your charge letter. After that, you will set an appointment for an intake meeting with one of the Student Affairs staff members. During an intake meeting, you will be given the opportunity to clarify the situation, allowing the staff member to make a clear and informed decision that will help you figure out your options and alternatives. If it is clear cut that you are not responsible, the charges can simply be dropped. If it is clear that you are responsible, then your sanctions will be determined in the intake meeting. If the situation is not clarified after an intake meeting, then you will have a community standards council hearing, which is made up of five members, three students, one faculty, and one staff, representing the Paul community. These five members are charged with the obligation of determining whether you are responsible or not responsible for policy violation. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the PAWS Community Standards System. The Student Handbook is a useful tool. One way of finding the Student Handbook is by searching under the quick links that appear on the PAWS homepage. The Student Handbook is useful because it gives you examples of the sanctions enforced under the PAWS Community Standards System. The sanctions range anywhere from formal warning to expulsion. With these sanctions, it is also possible to lose privileges such as the ability to rush, participate in on-campus winter term, lose the ability to live in university-owned apartments, and also denial to study abroad. Another useful tool is the Community Standards page located in the Student Affairs website. In this section, you can find information that allows you to make more informed decisions. Our hope is that if a student is ever involved in our judicial process, they learn enough that they don't come back through the process. Um, that is our, that's our true goal, that they learn to make some better choices. So whatever the situation may be, it is important that you take responsibility for your actions.